Today at Villa Ama, we're going to cook octopus and make octopus salad. It's a very popular dish all across the Mediterranean, especially here in Sicily. And in Italian, we call it polpo insalata. You need a very few spices, you know, the typical ones, garlic, celery, onions, and bay leaf. Well, here at Villa Ama, we have a bay leaf tree. These are bay leaves. And so we're gonna use fresh bay leaves in the cooking. Bay leaves right from the tree. Smell them, <sighs> smells great. For those of you who are wondering where your bay leaves come from, they come from the bay leaf tree, used in many a seafood dish. These are the two octopus that we picked up at the Victoria Market. We're going to prepare them and cook them in the traditional fashion, and first we need to clean them. So, as you can see, the octopus has its eyes still, so we're going to have to take those out. So you're going to have to try and clean out the head as well. So we're going to turn this upside down like this. And it looks like it's already been cleaned out. So the other thing you need to do is remove the beak. This is the beak. We're going to cut a little hole, a little slit around it. And I'm going to try and push it out here. There you go. There's the beak, all right? So this guy's ready to be rinsed. I'm just gonna put him here in this bowl. And we're gonna do the same thing for the second octopus. It's a blind octopus. Ooh. Next step, I'm gonna rinse these quickly. We have two octopus, two pots. What you wanna do is you wanna try and get the legs to curl up. Dip it in the hot water and the legs will curl up. And you do that two, three, maybe even four times. And you slowly lower it into the water, just for a few seconds, then dip it again. Then you can see the octopus is really curling up and you can see it's an octopus. And one last time. And then we just let it go in the water. Okay, it's time to test the octopus and see if it's done. It's been about 25 minutes. These are little guys, each one has his own pot, so they probably cook pretty quick. The way you can tell is either with a knife or a fork, is to basically stick it in the octopus and see if it's done. Fork goes in, and once it goes in like that, it's pretty much done. We're gonna let it sit in the hot water, we're gonna turn it off, let it cook for just a little bit longer, then we're gonna take them out of the pot and we're going to chill them down or cool them down outside the pot so that they'll be easier to cut. One thing to remember about octopus, you hear about the Mediterranean diet all of the time. It's not just about olive oil and fresh vegetables. It's about the seafood and the fish and the lesser amounts of meat that they consume. Octopus is super high in nutrients. It's got anti-cancer properties and it's anti-inflammatories. It's high in B12, foilet, selenium. You know, it's said to be good for impotence. I don't know about that. Add it wherever you can find it. It makes a great salad on the summer. It takes a little bit of effort. This is the lemon we're going to use in this magnificent seasoning my beautiful wife is making. Look at her handle that knife. Ooh. <laughs> We're working hard on seasoning for the porpo, AKA octopusy. Chop, chop, chop. We're gonna use that knife. Oh, no. That's the limone. It's a juicy alum, limone. Gotta use them all up. Don't want to know waste. Got it? If you recall, a few minutes a little earlier today, we basically cooked up our octopus, curled its tentacles by dipping it, and here you go, it is nice and chilled. Now, you can eat the whole thing, and we'll probably put it in here. I know my daughter's gonna love that. We don't want the pieces too big because it's a salad, but we don't want them too small because, you know, you don't want these things kind of tickling down your throat. So here we go. See how, oh my God, this is gonna be so tender. 
We cooked it just right. We'll put octopus number one in, stir it in a bit. It's olive oil and all those great ingredients we talked about earlier. We are going to let this sit overnight. I think we have a little more salad than we have octopus in there. We'll let this marinate overnight and we'll enjoy it for dinner tomorrow.